morning y'all i look like a crazy person and i feel like a crazy person because it is freezing in new york it feels like negative seven i signed up for a 10 30 a.m pilates class um i signed up last night before i really checked the weather i knew it was freezing outside but i just like didn't think it would be this bad so I have to go to Pilates. Um, I didn't do anything last night, but I am trying out a new heatless hairstyle um, that I saw on TikTok where you use one of these headbands um, that you wrap your head around. And I thought to myself, I could do that. So we're gonna take it out together. It's been in my hair since probably like 6 p.m. yesterday, just because I figured I would take it out before I went to sleep and I didn't do that. Oh, that goes out fast. Um, my hair was kind of damp when I put it in, but I figured if it didn't really work out that like I could just use my air wrap later today and do it. I don't know. I think this side is a little tangled. Um, it honestly wasn't too painful to sleep in because it is so high up. Let me see if I can adjust this down a little bit now that it's not all that my dandruff is so bad because my psoriasis is so bad um wow okay oh okay i've done i've done so many heatless hair hacks like i have this stupid thing that's super painful to sleep in i've tried like the socks or whatever but wow we're here for this. Wow. And the good thing is, um, like I was saying, it wasn't uncomfortable to sleep in because it is on top of your head. I'll probably try and do maybe a tutorial um, on how I did it. It was very, very quick, but I did also leave it in my hair. I love that I still have this thing on top. I did also leave it in my hair for quite some time um, because I left it in overnight the only thing that I noticed too is because it was piled on top of my head um a lot of the little baby hairs and new growth that I have were kind of popping out um but wow this is like like it's not perfect by any means but this is great like I will definitely be doing this this is great for work Oh, I'm glad we found something that works and that's comfortable because I need something that makes my life feel more put together. Now I'm sad that we're going to Pilates because my scalp is going to get sweaty and my hair is so clean and I just love the feeling of super clean hair. Um, but so, I don't know, I'll throw it in a clip. Um, anywho, let's... Get ready for Pilates. I need to leave in 13 minutes. So I don't do anything crazy. I'm not going to do my makeup or anything. I'm literally just going to brush my teeth. Put on some sunscreen. Where is my toothbrush? There. Wow. I'm going to put in a clip just for now so I can do my sunscreen. I also have like a short list of things I need to do after Pilates. So I'm going to the Pilates location I do New York Pilates. I'm using this Zit Sticker um, Mega Shade SPF 50. It's this SPF serum. I still can't talk yet because I just woke up. Um, I like how lightweight it is. I like that it's SPF 50 um, and it doesn't have like a ton of white cast. It blends in really quickly. But I go to New York Pilates. I have an annual membership that I just bought in January that gives me unlimited Pilates classes all year long it was expensive but if i go to roughly 10 classes per month that means i'm only paying 20 dollars per class um which is justifiable and that's how much i was going and paying for with a membership on a monthly basis so i'm justifying it in my head i have had a disc injury a spinal injury i've had a herniated disc since September, I thought it was getting better. I went to a couple of Pilates classes. It was not getting better. It hurt really bad. Um, so now I'm just kind of giving myself grace and easing back into it. 
I was supposed to have an MRI on Monday, but my insurance denied my request for an MRI or something like that. Like I had a referral, but they denied it. So I have to sort it out with insurance, even though I'm still having to pay like a thousand dollars for it. It's all just like, my goodness. Like I just want to know what's wrong with my back because it's been so long. A list of things I need to do after Pilates. Since I go to New York Pilates, I usually go to the West Village location, but today the West Village class was sold out until like the afternoon, the early afternoon, and I'm doing things with my friend Laura this afternoon. So I wanted to go earlier, especially because I wasn't doing anything on a Friday night. And I'm going to the Bowery location, which is kind of right about on the Lower East Side in Soho off of Houston. Um, I love the location. I also really love their weekend instructors. Like it's just such a great class. But because I am going there, it's nearly a two mile walk. So I'm going to walk to Pilates. I have to wear a shit ton of layers. And then I am going to hopefully afterwards man up the courage. I need to drop by Sephora really quick. I just want to get one thing that I just saw that I don't need, but I just want. Um, I'm going to try and go to Trader Joe's. I need like a couple of veggies and some bone broth. And then there was one more errand. I need to go pick up a prescription, but that's all the way in Chelsea. I don't know if I want to go all the way that far. Um, and then when I get back, I completely tore my apartment apart last night because my boyfriend, Evan, who lives with me, is in Florida for the week. Um, so I'm kind of trying to go through and clean out some things. And we're working on getting rid of furniture, getting new furniture in. And yeah, so let's go get dressed and I'll take you along with me for the day. So my outfit is nothing too terribly crazy. I'm wearing this sweatshirt sweater from Amazon. Um, I also just have, I can't even fit in the frame. I'm just wearing Ari leggings because they are ribbed and a bit thicker. I have these Ugg socks on because they're like sweater material. I'm going to put on my Stodd New Balances because we have to walk 1.6 miles to class. And then because we're walking, we need some layers. So I'm going to put on these Abercrombie sweatpants over my leggings. And like, let's be real, it's probably going to be so hot by the time I get there because I walk at like lightning speed because that's just New York for you but better to have layers um, just in case and then oh and then I'm gonna bring this Walgreens Dwayne Reed Reed brand capsian cap, cap, capsaian hot patch um, this is what I use on my back this is what I swear by from having a back injury and a slip disc Essentially, it is a medicated heat patch that just loosens up the muscle and obviously because it's so cold outside, my joints, my body is going to be a little bit tighter than usual. I can already tell just by trying to get my shoes on that it's tight. So I'm going to bring one of these with me because your girl is about to be an old lady. <sighs> I'm going to go for earmuffs versus a beanie. There's like, I'm looking at the West Side Highway right now, and usually at 9 a.m. on a sunny Saturday morning, there would be hordes of people just running, and I've only seen two runners so far, so that makes me scared to go outside, um, but I'm going to do earmuffs instead of a beanie. I also, just recently, before Christmas, I did all of this like extensive blood work because <laughs> there's just been so much going on and so much wrong with my body, and I feel like a stranger in my body. So I had all this blood work done. I got all of these issues sorted and now I'm on all of this medication. And I went from like being on no medication to all of this medication that I have to take at certain times of the day and things like that. And it just makes me feel icky. Like my body feels icky and I go through little spurts. And if I get like that icky feeling, I start to have like a cough attack because I think it's like my way of trying to help me like regurgitate or something I don't know that may be TMI but I'm just trying to take a moment get some fresh air I'm sure the cold air will like shoot me back to life essentially I had zero desire to drink I'm just like 
don't know if I'm kind of over it or if maybe I'm just at like a different stage in my life. Like I'm sure when summer rolls around, I'll be back into it. But like even just the idea of having a glass of wine at night just doesn't sound appealing to me. But it's now 9.36, it's time to go. I made my scarf into like a balaclava. We did it. We made it to Bowery. So now it's just like half a block over. It's crazy because when I lived on the east side for five years, I literally came over here all the time. Like all the bars over here and everything. And now I only ever come here for Pilates. It's crazy how as you grow up, different areas of the city become less or more relevant to you. stretched out <laughs> um, so now I don't think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because it's just so much further into Soho than I want to go so um, I think I'm just gonna go to Sephora and then maybe Target because there's a Target right there I'm sure they have bone broth Okay, I am back at home and I put my hair back up in this crazy little thing because it kind of fell during Pilates and with all the wind as expected. Um, I went to Trader Joe's. I just, now I just made lunch. I made this ginormous platter of homemade hibachi because I imagine it will have me have, um, I imagine it will give me some leftovers for the rest of the weekend, I'll show it to you guys in a second, but I'm just gonna watch TV for a little bit. I'm supposed to meet my friend Laura, but also it's just really cold. Um, so not quite sure what we're gonna do just yet, but I'm just gonna chill for a little bit, get some cleaning done and things like that. There's no particular recipe for this, but just look at how big it is and how good it looks. I'm also going to have one of my Liars Classico non-alcoholic spritz. This just kind of got messed up in the mail, but I love these. Um, great if you need a little flavor in the middle of the day, but I just did steak, um, brown fried rice with some zucchini, broccoli, egg, and scallion and onion, and then some broccoli. So I'm going to watch some TV while I eat this. My bed is not fully made because it's just like a lazy weekend day. It doesn't need to be made, but this is literally my favorite time of the day. I love when it's a sunny day and the disco ball lights just hit just right. And since I move things around, I also have these disco balls down here and Evan's crap in the corner um, that like reflect light. It's a little bit past they were reflecting light earlier, but I just love, I love how it, how it does that. So the rest of my night or Saturday was just very uneventful. Um, it dropped drastically here in temperature. So I was like, my friend and I were like, let's, let's, we can't do it. We can't do it. It's too cold. I watched some TV, watched some TikTok, sat on the couch and I went to bed by 1030 and it was glorious. I woke up today at like 850, I think. I woke up a couple times in the middle of the night, but it's a bright sunny day and it was supposed to be cloudy. So I'm going to get some things done around the apartment. I need to make my bed. I need to hang up my posters that I had above my bed that now I am putting above my bed again, just since I've moved the bed to the end of the hallway or the end of the apartment. And then I just booked a massage at 2 p.m. because my back is acting up a little bit. And since I can't go get my MRI, I need to like work the muscle a little bit. Um, and yeah, so let's do that.
Now that the bed is at least made, I made some bone broth. I heated it up. Oh, I'm trying to get used to drinking this in the morning. I do bone broth with about a quarter of a lemon and I put in some turmeric, turmeric. Someone will come at me for that. Some ground turmeric um, in it and I just use my like frother to froth it all together. It's a little too hot right now. Um, I like to wait until it gets to be about lukewarm so I can just straight up chug it and count it <laughs> because it's supposed to be really good and digestion, digestive benefits. It's still in the morning. I haven't talked. I can't talk. Good with digestion. Good with skin fixes, skin issues, and ensuring you have glowy skin. Um, there's like other things too, but I don't know. TikTok made me do it. But also, we're going to make some breakfast. And I don't have a ton of things just because I am leaving this week to go on a little vacation. So I think I'm just going to do a little yogurt bowl with some granola. I got these granolas yesterday from Kind um, Cinnamon Oaks Granola. I literally can't talk. Cinnamon Oak Granola with flax seeds and almond butter clusters. Um, really high in protein and really just good macros in general. So I think I'm gonna mix some of these with some yogurt and then I have some blueberries that need to be eaten and I got some raspberries yesterday. So fun things. Let's start with some blues. I got these blueberries from Costco a couple of weeks ago and they are the single-handedly best batch of blueberries I've ever had. They're like super tart flavorful, just great. So we got some herbs and straws. Oops, raspberries. Forgive me. I have literally no brain today. No brain power. Going to layer in the Greek yogurt. I have plain Greek yogurt, which makes me a little nervous because I don't love plain Greek yogurt. I bought this actually to do something with like ranch, I think, and just to it around to it. So going to go in with the cinnamon ones a little bit. Dash of cinnamon. A few more berries. Now I'm going to take some of the almond butter clusters because they are high in protein. I want some of the granola to be crunchy and some to be that little like soggy cereal texture. So these will be the crunchy ones and the cinnamon ones will potentially be like the soggy. So this is ready to go. I may drizzle some honey on it, but I will eat this after my bone broth and just look at this cute little mug. What a lovely angle this is, but I'm going in. I already chugged a little bit of it, so it's lukewarm. Look at my new growth. Love it. Frizzies. It's not bad. It just tastes like a lemon chicken soup broth, but like, in, I would drink my soup anyways once I would get towards the end. But it's just the fact that it's like the first thing you have in the morning before coffee, before water, really. <sighs> Cheers. I'm almost done. I have like one eighth left. I'm also just gonna get my water ready. I'm a, a Stanley Cup girly. Actually, I won't lie. I don't love my Stanley Cup to the extent that everyone else does. Like, yes, I have one. I was influenced by everyone else and I, I'm just putting some lemon in my water because I have this extra lemon out and ready. Um, I mean, yes, I bought it. I was influenced and I bought it. I just, something about a cup with a straw doesn't do it for me. Like I would much rather prefer to have a water bottle and I know that's bad. Um, if I do buy a water bottle, I am reusing it multiple times, but something about having a liter water bottle and being able to track 
the amount of water you can drink, but also just being able to chug it. Like I hate water. I hate like bone broth in the morning. I hate teas, like hot teas, like the digestive teas or like um, detox teas. So anything I can just get into the mindset of just chugging because I need the benefits. I don't love everything else about it. Um, is better for me. I'm gonna take my daily symbiotic. I use seeds, DSO one daily symbiotic. I've been using it for about, I just got my notification that my shipment was en route. So it's my third shipment that I'm going into. Um, definitely have seen a difference. Um, I really like it. Two a day in the morning on an empty stomach then you're good to go. Also still didn't pick up my prescriptions, so I need to do that. Um, so we need, and I also need to film or figure out, um, I owe Uber Eats a TikTok today. They had a quick turnaround time and that was like part of their commitment was committing to, or part of their choice in selecting you was committing to their timeline that had to be moved quickly. So have to get that done gonna try and get that done after this and after I eat breakfast so let's go when I say I made a mess this is what I mean I have this little cubby thing that I've used it was like a quick fix solution that I got um whenever I wanted some more space up here but it's really ugly it was like $20 from Target or something like that maybe like $40 so I'm dumping everything out I'm going through I'm trying to just clean out clean shop because I'm trying to give my boyfriend more space we're trying to make this more of like a formal dining area hello and then I moved his rack over here because I just want this like if the clutter is going to be somewhere it needs to be like over here um so we're just kind of working on reworking the space really from what it was I also got this bar shelf in that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I wanted to transition from a bar cart to a bar shelf just because I have so much glassware that I love that I want on display and I had like a cart, a nightstand, and so many different things so I figured this was the best way to display the glassware, kind of hide the alcohol. It also comes with this drawer. I'm gonna put the straws that I have there um, so that they're kind of separated because our silverware drawer is getting big and then I have alcohol non-alcoholic spirits mixers um more glassware that I usually reach for so it's just nice for everything to have its own little place versus being in like three or four separate different areas so I love it still kept these things of course my Dyson's an air sore, but an air sore. My Dyson's an eyesore, but like it's mounted. So what can you do? I also have these Liars non-alcoholic spirits and I'm obsessed with them. They're so great. I have the canned ones too. I have a little bit of time before my appointment and I don't really know what else to do. And I don't want to go and just sit there on my phone. So I'm going to go walk around. I'm in East Village right now, which I used to live in at the NYU dorms. I'm about to pass my friend's dorm, so I'm just gonna walk around a bit, get my steps in. Okay, so I'm back home. I didn't go get a pedicure. My phone was on like 6% on my walk home, so I've just been busy at home. I got home, I made dinner, I made salmon and some vegetables, like a stir fry mix for dinner. And then I started completely redoing my dining area and packing for my trip for Mexico. And now I'm doing some self care. So tonight I put up these peel and stick wainscoting panels. They're from Lux Architectural, or I think that's what it's called. I'll link them in the thing below. And then the dining room table that's been here, I cleared it off for the most part. Some of the clutter is around. And then I got this new rug from Ruggable. It was definitely a pain to put down, but I'm really happy overall with how it turned out. Um, see if I can, I can't do that yet. I'll show you how it looks in a second. So overall, I'm really happy with the vibe. Um, I had a really specific inspo kind of picture going that I made on Canva. Um, and I just think it's completely like 
transform the space. I'm filling in a couple of holes right there with some um, spackle, so ignore the discoloration. I'll get some paint to go over it, but I think it's just completely different from when it was my bedroom, um, and it's just very vibey, and I love the dining room table. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I'm going to get a couple of black velvet chairs and then I hope to get this one wicker chair to put on the end um, as like a statement chair it is a little bit pricier so I'm hoping to only get one and then I don't love this mirror I'm hoping to sell it on Facebook marketplace but it's here for the time being um, I would love for just the wall to kind of shine through and then hopefully later this week I have a new dresser coming in here is where I said all this stuff went basically and this is all of Evan's stuff that he had hidden in the corner over there but I'm getting a long black dresser that I'm going to put my anthropology vanity mirror on top of um, so that that is like a little bit more aesthetic and also brings in the moodiness over to this whole section. Because since the rest of the apartment is just so bright and fun, I want to have some moodiness over to the front as we like transition, ignore all of my trash. Um, so like starting with the bar cart and then like going through to this area so it'll kind of be a little disjointed disjointed for a little bit of time but like it is what it is it's a work in progress um and we're we're getting a move on it so now i'm just gonna do this face mask i'm gonna finish up packing for the most part that i can for my trip this week i'm going to get my trash together so that i can take it out tomorrow morning I'm gonna get through some more cleaning. I'm just gonna keep chugging along while I can chug along. I have about two hours before I need to go to bed and then wake up for a whole work week. So luckily it's a short week, but we do have some people out at work, so it will be a little bit busy, but bring it on. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you wanna see more vlogs of my life in New York City, definitely let me know. I post a lot of these on TikTok. I'll leave my social media if you wanna follow me below, and I hope you guys have a great week ahead.